Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today to celebrate Walking with Dinosaur's 20 year anniversary, we're going to review a figure based on an animal that appeared in episode 3, Cruel Sea. I chose Lyplurodon, and here to represent that animal, we have the Safari LTD Lyplurodon figure. Lyplurodon was a pliosaur plesiosaur marine reptile that lived during the mid Jurassic period, even though it's portrayed living in the late Jurassic in the show, from about 165 to 100, uh, 155 million years ago, roughly. Okay, let's get into this figure. Now, immediately, looking at the head, we can see the tiny, tiny scale details. I think it looks wonderful. The teeth have been sculpted so meticulously and they look wonderful. On this side as well, we can also see the very popular counter shading for Lyplurid, and that was popularized by Walking with Dinosaurs itself. The pink tongue in there looks very nice, and note that the teeth don't uh, overlap or interlock, as was shown in the show. That's long since outdated, it now has more traditional teeth that fit into the, the, the mouth a lot more cleanly. We have the nostrils as well. You can just barely make out on the black head. Here, right in front of the eyes, the eyes are like a very dark brown, almost a red kind of color. I think there is some shrink wrapping here. You can see the, the top of the head looks quite bare bones. But I don't think it's that big of an issue. I, th I still think it looks nice. And then when we get down to the body, uh, we see these awesome skin folds on the neck. It looks really nice. The underside is white, the top is black. Classic counter shading for aquatic animals. The underside of the jaw looks really nice. We've got this throat um, flap. Not flap, but we, we, the throat, I think you can just call it. And when we get to the front flippers, we can see these are thinner and smaller than the hind ones, as these were more for steering. Then when we get to the rear ones, these are a bit wider. Whoops. These are a bit wider and thicker, because these were more for propulsion. Uh, the coloration on this. I really like this very simple stripe patterning with spots as well. Now the tail is a bit outdated, unfortunately. This should be more of a f um, vertical fluke rather than this thin lizard-like tail but that was discovered after this figure was made so I can't fault it that much and we even have a cloaca I think I don't think there's really a whole lot to say about this figure it's just it's just really really well done and it's accuracy it's almost almost flawless like I said the tail that's it but for its time I think this was basically perfect and that is a very impressive feat for the uh, Safari LTD Lyplurodon. Now let's measure this guy up. So in terms of the length, we're looking at about um, just shy of 17 centimeters long. In terms of the width, these two front flippers, this looks about just over 10 centimeters, or maybe 10 centimeters exactly. Yeah, very small figure. For an animal that was portrayed to be so huge in the show, it's a very small um, figure. And it was more close to the size of a killer whale rather than a blue whale. If you would like one for yourself, go to everythingdinosaur.com. They have amazing service. If you would like to check out my review of the episode Cruel Sea, uh, stay tuned for the end card that will be on in just a moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.